Hey there, this video will instruct you how to make a corsage using a white slap bracelet. So it's nine inches by one inch wide. And you have a couple different options. You can um, leave it as is, or I'll show you how to add some ribbon to it. You're gonna cut three circles at two and three quarter inches wide. And on one of them, you're gonna cut two, um, slice two slits, whether you use it with your cutting machine or not, at one and a quarter, I'm sorry, 1.4 inches in height, okay? So you'll do two lines so it slices through it. So you can set that up in your machine's cutting space, or um, you can just mark it on the back and um, use an X-Acto blade. So again, three circles. I use glitter cardstock, but you can also um, use 110 pound cardstock. So if you want a lot more support, but we're gonna glue two of them together for our base and then we'll glue it on top of this one. So you'll have three pieces of the glitter cardstock, which is a little bit heavier than your normal 65 pound. And I am using glitter in this case, but you really don't see it. But just in case I, I thought, oh, I'll just use glitter. Okay, so again, three of them at two and three quarters. Your height of your slits are 1.4 inches. Add two of them and place them evenly in the circle. You need, um, I like to do three, or I'm doing five flowers total. I'll probably do three of my peonies, which I've been. I added a fun um, flower I made from Paper Flower Center Bundle 3, petal number two. I like to add one of those in. I'm not sure the color. And then I've been adding in one of um, the Cricut rolled flowers. Okay, so you're gonna cut two pieces of ribbon. You need one inch wide ribbon if you wanna cover the slap bracelet, okay? So make sure that you have the concave is up. So the U should be pointing up, it's curling up because that's, it'll slap and bend around, okay? So this is silicone, so it is super hard for glue to stay on. So what I do is we're going to add the ribbon. So I'm gonna add some glue directly on here. And this is covering up the end of the bracelet. Because literally you could peel it off. It just does not like to stick. <laughs> so let's put our finger where it ends. We're going to add our glue here. So we're going to do this at either end. We want to cover up the ends. So you have a nice clean look. We're going to do the exact same thing over here. We're adding our glue. Flip it over. I did get my ribbon at Joann's in the ribbon section. Is It is save the date ribbon, so wedding ribbon. Okay, so that covered the ends. So now what we're gonna do is I flip it over on the back. I don't cut off a piece because I'm really not sure how much I'm gonna need. And I come down basically to the end here. I'm on the back side. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. Hold it in place. I'm going to wrap around to come up to the top. Come up to the edge. And now I'm gonna start coming down at an angle. I don't like to cut off the ribbon because I'm not sure how much I need. So you can see I'm overlapping 
keeping it taut or tight. So I'm pulling and turning at the same time. So you want to have that overlap so no, it doesn't, the ends don't um, come out and show. So again, it's only if you want to color cover the silicone slap bracelet. Otherwise, you don't have to. So we're going to go right up to the end. Come around to the back side. We're going to shear it off. we added our glue so there we have our ribbon our slap bracelet is covered and then you have one of the strips on the back okay so then the next thing to do is to thread through our slits and our paper so we're going to bring it up through so again, if you didn't want to cover the slot bracelet, you did not have to. I did make one without it, without covering it. And then you just put it through. This way, you have a base to glue everything onto. And we're just gonna put this in the middle. And then if you wanted to, you can add a little bit of glue underneath. Do you need another glue gun? <laughs> Not another glue gun, another glue stick. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. So it almost looks like a belt buckle at this point. So now we're going to... Um, glue our two bases together just again for more stability So now this is going to be our base that we're going to build our corsage on. And then once we have this built, we're just going to glue it onto the center. So you want to build your base um, with larger leaves that are a little bit wider and that have are able to cover that. So I have my Cricut rolled flowers. Now the size flat or flowers that you want to use, I do recommend using like a two inch. So I use a template eight mini flower and I create a peony. And this is a approximately two inches. I also have template eight mini flower and it's about 1.3 um, quarters inch. And then I also have the Cosmos mini flower I have that styled as a peony as well and that's approximately one and three quarters so that one's a much smoother 
petal shape compared to the template eight, which gives it a jaggedy edge, which I just love all of them. This is all paper by Recollections from Michaels. So I have a whole big pile of leaves over here. So we're gonna set our slap bracelet to the side. And again, these were made with Paper Flower Center Bundle 3, Petal 2. And I'll just need one of those, but I wanted them out. So now we just start building. So I like to use a Paper Flower um, shaping mat. So it's a soft foam mat. And that's to help style my petals if I don't already have some. So you need to choose what color greens you want. I normally use like two to three different shades of green. So do we want more like olive -y colors, more subtle? With the darker green. Looking for my third shade of green that I like. I know I cut some. <laughs> Where is she? There we go. <laughs> like I know I got a whole bunch of leaves tonight. So would we want these three? Which is much more subtle and is from the paper pack forest. Or do we want to go with the feathered greens, which are the much brighter for spring when you have proms. I think would be pretty. So you, that's your probably your biggest determination whether you want to go with the brights or the more subtle. I think I'm going to stick with my brights even though I love the subtle colors and I did cut a whole bunch of them. It's so hard to choose. <laughs> like I said, it is the hardest. So for each of my leaves, I like to style them. I do not like to leave my leaves flat. I'm not going to add any inking because I don't want it to get on anybody's skin or anything. So we can just start. I normally just start gluing. I try not to think about it too much. And my size leaves that I'm using... These, it runs anywhere from two and a quarter, like two and a half, to my smaller ones are like one and three quarters. So I do a variety. This is my daisy mini flower leaf. I like this leaf for a lot of my headbands, my bottom layer of petals because it is a chunkier leaf, but yet it has a nice shape cut out. But you can use any styled leaf that you prefer, whether you wanna use fake greenery or I like to use my paper because I am a paper florist. So I'm going to start with my um, Going two larger, and then we'll add in some more layers. So I like to use two different colors at this point. Just looking for my sizes. And again, I draw a line down the leaf, and then I color in towards the leaf on both sides.
And I don't style my leaves ahead of time because I'm not sure how I want to use them. So I just cut them all ahead of time. I have a bag full. So you'll see here, I just keep them by style in little paper bags in the shades of greens. Whether it's for like the darker, the forest colors, or the feathered green, I have my pile with me. If that makes sense. And usually all different sizes. I'm going to pull out these bigger ones we don't need for this project. Okay, so now I'm looking for a little bit lighter. I usually pinch the top. <laughs> okay, and we're building that base of multiple shades of greens. Again, all of them will have the lines on them. I'm just using Gorilla Glue. And then we'll start to build in the sides. So we can add in some of our other ones before we If you wanted to add in some darker, we can. It all depends <laughs> on what you're looking for. Everyone's a little bit different, but I do start with the larger daisy leaves on the bottom. ready for my flowers so the dollar store has um, a smaller embossing tool which is really great for embossing your leaves your petals for um, like the flower templates but also my leaves I like to use this for And this is the fun part, so have a have some fun with it. So when it's actually on your wrist, it's going to be like this. No, oh, it'll be like that. <laughs> I always get messed up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have to think. I always glue it on wrong, though. So. I won't lie. <laughs> oh, goodness. So again, have some fun with this. So I usually just do a little bit up the sides. I don't want it near the top. Again, by adding a little bit of veining, it's going to set you apart from the other paper flowers. Because your leaves, they're never, ever should be, they're never, ever, like, straight. They have some texture to them. And then for these, I like to just come down the center. 
and then you'll see me a lot of times I'll just fan them out a little so I'm going to add those in and then we will start gluing I actually cut. I thought I was going to use the other color greens, but then I like, oh, these are spring, so if I sell them, should be nice and springy colors. And these are about, if you have, do it straight on, it's about two and two and a half inches. So if you haven't cut a wide variety from three inches down to one and a half, um, one and three quarters, you're fine for a lot of the smaller projects. Okay, so we just need a little one in there. Looking for that one shade of green. So these can be used for wedding corsages. You can make them this way. Prom season. Okay, now for the flowers, we have our base. So what I like to do is kind of glue them at an angle. So I'm going to glue them together. At an angle. So they're not sitting straight. They're a little bit up in the air. So we're going to let that dry a moment. Maybe we'll add in that darker. That might be nice. Let's be crazy with this one. Again, I like to flip it out. We don't want anything like too symmetrical. So we will add in some other leaves once we have our, we have our base kind of filled in. Now we're going to add our flowers and then add the finishing touches of adding the leaves in different spots. So again, we're working with a two and three quarter inch base, which seems to be a nice size. Okay, so now that our, our flowers are glued together pretty well, we're gonna glue them onto the base. So we wanna make sure they're not too far over, oops, um, off the edge, but we wanna have room for our other flowers. So we're gonna put a total of five. So we'll put in one of the fun centers we made, or a flower we made with a center, and then probably a rolled one. And it seems to work super nice. So I'm just gonna add some glue along the bottom. Again, our edge is right there. And by putting them at the angle, kind of fits the angle like of your wrist. So it may look crazy now with all your greenery, but now we're filling it in. But it has a nice base. 
and we'll have enough room to get our, because here's our edge, to get our other peony in there. So we're going to add glue along the bottom. And tuck her in there. And we need to let them dry for a moment or two. So Gorilla Glue, it says about 45 seconds till it's fully dried. Gorilla Glue dries super fast though. So now we need to keep in consideration all of our empty spots, depending which way you're looking at it. So here we have a nice crevice. It's so pretty already. So do we want the darker? I don't think that one. One of these should actually. Now to figure out the other colors. All right, so where's my little... Again, I keep them all in little plastic sandwich bags. You get them at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I think I got a pack of like 500 of them the one year. I still use them, I reuse them. Okay, I'm going to squish my center together. It's a lot of little textures, so you could use some um, faux um, baby's breath, you know, whatever you want, but I'm keeping it all paper. Super duper pretty. So again, we have five flowers. We kept it at a two inch, a one and three quarters, one and three quarters. Not really sure what size my center ends up being, maybe an inch. But I like it for the different textures you get in here. And then the Cricut rolled flower. Okay, so the other thing that you can use, so we have our greens. We're going to be adding some more in there. Well, I can't find them. Is also part of my um, leaf bundles, or it's what I call like a berry looking. So it's almost like berries. So I have, again, I color, I cut them in all shades of pink and I keep them all in one bag. So you can just grab what you need when you're in here. So I like to add these in as well. So now we're just going to go through and add where we feel that we need some extras. So we need something here. So a good one to pull in our, our, is our leaf here. And if you don't need... I need a different shade, a little lighter. Um, what was I going to say? Like if you don't, if you're using one of the larger ones, you can just rip off the bottom. But I also like to put them coming out of the petals. Like in between.
this is the fun part again. Remember, have a little bit of fun. Do your ends, and I do on top. Just because when we're placing them in there, I want to make sure it's adhering to something. So we want to make sure we get it in there. Oh, that one doesn't want to go in there. It's always one. Just trying to make sure everything's even so we can see sparkles over here. So we need to fill that in. a little bit of darker green for sure Again, we're just layering and layering and layering. Till you feel you have enough in there, everything's covered. So again, you'll see me break off a lot of times the bottoms when I'm tucking them in somewhere. And again, put the glue on both sides. So that way it's adhering to a bottom of the flower somewhere and it's also touching the bottom and you want them elevated up. So for these, I usually just bend some forward, some back, every other one. And then you can just bend the whole stem and then I'll usually rip off the bottom part. So these are a great little berry-ish color that we can tuck in somewhere for color. So I usually do three of them because we like odd numbers. Again, each one is different. So this is where you can use your creativity, use what you have in your stash. So this is the fuchsia color from Recollection from Michaels. So it's the darker. And we're just going to fill these in somewhere. So 
an art piece of art, isn't it? <laughs> This is just my style of doing it as far as like the decor, what leaves, what style um, colors I like. Um, I like to use the peonies, but you can use any flower. I would just keep it to the smaller ones unless you want to do like one larger one. But I like the different textures of having the different flowers. So this is pretty full over here. I feel like we need something here. So again, make sure you're looking all around. So it's almost like you're putting a plate and then you have your flowers in the center. <laughs> How's that for an explanation? So we let's add a little bit of the darker green in. That'll help a little bit. So let's look for smaller ones of those maybe one more of those as our base ones Now, if you cannot get something like underneath, it just won't fit somewhere. The trick is you can glue it to the bottom and you won't see that because it's going to be glued onto the bracelet. Okay, so I, I did have to do that already. So you just add it to the bottom. And just press it on there. And you won't see it then. So that's a little bit of a trick. Can I just go over these with my metal ball stylus tool on your flower shaping mat? I'm going to rip off the bottom a little just because I want it to be a little bit larger, but I don't have a lot of space front and back. It's almost done, honestly. So let's look at it from all different angles. We have a lot of those on that side. But not a lot over here, which I think is okay. I don't want to go too much with those. So the decorating part is all up to you, but I can give you my suggestions for like base leaves and 
size flowers. I like the little bit of darker mixed in with this one. So I'll show you my other ones and it is a little bit different. it's just about done <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I needed something else do you think there's a triangle Yep, I think that's it then. A little bit on the back and a little bit on the front. And then I have to figure out where it was. And I have glue there. So I think I'm just going to hide that a little. And a little bit of glue. I think that's good. I could work at it all day. <laughs> That's the fun part. So now we're just going to add it on to our slap bracelet. I'm just going to clean up our leaves here a little. Definitely keeping them in your little baggies keeps you well organized. Then you just go into the leaf vault when you feel like you need some. much bigger bag for this one. Let's get them out of the way. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you're enjoying making a corsage. So whether it's prom, wedding, Mother's Day, you could add these onto the corsage pins if you wanted to instead of doing it on the base, a slap bracelet. So whatever works for your event. So then the last thing to do is to glue it on. So we're going to glue it on that way because when we put it around our wrist, it will then be vertical unless you want it to be horizontal. So I'm going to glue it on here. So I'm just going to add glue all over there.
Okay, so while we're wearing it, it has to be this way. Oops, I always get it wrong, sorry. Now I'm just going to go around my edges and make sure it's all adhered. So if you missed any spots, again, you can see when I glued it from behind, you don't see it. Just make sure it's super glued on there. And this was glitter paper and it is 65 pound you can use 110 pound but this is super sturdy now that we have three layers on there This one I didn't get on exactly, but that's okay. And there you have it. I'm going to let that dry a moment. So I do have one that's made that is not glued on. So you can literally just pull it off and on. So this one was in blue, shades of blue. There is a video in my PhotoFab Paper Flower Makers group on Facebook with the um, where I made this one. This was my very first one. So this one I didn't put any coming out. Does it need it? <laughs> it makes me second guess myself. I like a little one coming out of the center. But these I made pretty tight. Yeah, like I don't think it needs it in this one. We're going to keep it a little different. All right. And then the other one I made was a peach one. So all very different in how they look. This one I did use the ribbon as well. So I'm going to slap it. <laughs> I have to do it off camera. There we go. And there we have it. I'm not a good slapper so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching